All right, so one thing that I will say uh, about this is, and I've since addressed it uh, with him, so it's really just a matter of time. Um, when I got this tarp, uh, all right, let me rewind it. Um, so when I went to the gathering, uh, the Path Hunter gathering in Ohio, um, I didn't have this. I did not have this tarp. I stayed in a tent and, uh, and smoothed it like that. Um, but I used that time to, to do a little scout on oil skins. Um, I didn't go out of my way and talk to people about it really, uh, except for uh, John Gandy because he had a tent smith's tarp that he, he had uh, kind of flied out uh, in front of his tent to kind of give him a nice awning. Um, and his was the first oil skin that I had ever seen in person. Uh, I guess it's just because the hot weather here, uh, there's people that it's just uh, a misconception that it, it's heavy and it's hot. I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't used it enough, so that's another video in the future. But anyways, uh, I wanted to see oil skin in person, see the weight, feel it, and whatnot. So I got to see uh, John Gandy's uh, Tinsmith tarp, and, you know, it almost felt like wax canvas. Um, just that, that feel, I guess, uh, and the weight of it. So I then went and looked at the instructors uh, camps that were set up, uh, you know, throughout the week, uh, kind of like display camps for, uh, you know, the different things that they use. And I looked at Dave and uh, I actually helped Jamie Burley take his uh, down because he was using um, some of his beams and, uh, and tripod legs, you know, for, uh, for both staffs. But anyways, I really got to kind of feel and hold and, and you know, check out oil skin. And the thing that I've noticed uh, about those guys, and like I said, I'm just trying to give an honest review. I'm not trying to bash one or the other. Uh, honestly, this is... A, an infant review because this is the first time I've set this up. But the thing I noticed, uh, sorry if you hear that plane in the background, um, I'll try to speak up. The thing that I noticed was that their tarps felt like oil skin or felt like uh, felt like wax canvas. And I liked that. I liked the way it felt. I liked uh, the thickness of it. And all of that so did more research uh, this deal came up like I said pulled the trigger and I bought it a uh, couple of couple of weeks went by about two weeks um, which was what it said and my tarp gets in I open up the box and the tarp is folded up in just a plain cardboard uh, you know postal service box and there was some kind of a uh, some kind of stuff on the box. Um, like some kind of product or treatment or whatever on the bottom of the box that the tarp laid on top of it. And I was like, whoa, you know, what's that? So I pulled the tarp out and get to looking and uh, it came off on, on my hands. Uh, I guess it's the linseed oil or whatever uh, Clinton uses, but it came off on my hands and even right now I Can feel it. I can feel it here where I was laying down just now uh, It's not so much that it it gets on your clothes But uh, it concerned me, you know, I thought maybe hey uh, It's not dry. Maybe they didn't finish the treatment so I hit up my buddy, uh, Jeffrey Courtney, because he had ordered uh, a Deer Creek Wilderness uh, tarp and got his four or five days before mine. And he said the same thing. 
so I started kind of looking around and looking at people that make their homemade, uh, you know, wool cloth and all that stuff. And some people were saying that you need to let this stuff sit for up to two weeks for the treatment to dry. And so I just shot, you know, Clinton uh, a message and asked him, hey, uh, I've had my tarp hanging up in my garage. It's not terribly hot in there um, for a couple of days. And I still feel that product on my hand. Uh, I, I let him know that I've got it with me up here at work right now. Uh, this was yesterday. Uh, and I had it out in the sun um, draped over the back of my truck. I've never had this. You know, I, I don't I don't know the first thing about a little cloth. Uh, I was just thinking, hey, if something's wet, I'll lay it out and let it dry in the sun. And I told him it, it literally, like, was sweating. This material was, like, sweating out their treatment. And it was all over my truck. Uh, not dripping, you know, like a faucet, but you could rub your finger on my truck and, and you could get it on your hands. And it was shining and almost looked damp and moist. So, um, he went on to tell me that that's not un, uh, unusual, that they put a heavy amount of treatment uh, on these things and that it doesn't affect the performance of it and it doesn't, infect, it doesn't affect the tarp itself um, to just give it some time. So, I called John Gandy and asked him, hey, when you got your tent smith's tarp in, was it almost like wax canvas feeling? Or was it damp and moist? And when you had it out the first couple of times, did it kind of come off on your hands? And he said, no, it felt like wax canvas or what oil cloth feels like when you hear that word. So we got to thinking like you know it almost takes a month for you to get your tarp from tentsmith it took two weeks to get this so maybe it's not done with the treatment but i asked uh, i asked clinton and he said you know what uh it's fine um it doesn't hurt it that's usual it it will be tacky for a little bit but he said that you can uh you can put some dirt and sand on it and uh, it gets rid of the tackiness but to just not you know he recommends not putting it out in direct heat because he knew that I'm I'm in Texas and he said you know the Texas Sun is ridiculous which you you know everybody knows that so I guess that's really the only knock a long story short is I was confused as to why it felt like the treatment was coming off or the, tent, the tarp was sweating out the treatment, but Clinton knows more about it than what I do. He makes the damn things. Um, honestly, I trust the guy. Uh, he's shown me um, just by the craftsmanship of this thing that he's not cutting corners. So I trust him. If it keeps doing it, you know what? This thing is, is bomb proof as far as I can tell. Now the real test is gonna be when it rains, and especially here in Texas, we have crazy, crazy weather. So uh, tornadoes, hail, all that crap, all at once within five or six hours and it goes away and it gets hot and humid. So uh, that's gonna be the real test and believe me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this bad boy out. But uh, to keep from going over this too long, I just wanted to post a video I haven't done one in a while and I finally got a chance to get out um, I'm going to be using this more often if anything comes up if anything goes wrong uh, I'll tell you um, I'm not trying to drive away business from anybody or trying to make another person more rich I just want people to to know what they're gonna get before you know you spend your money on something and if it's something I bought and it's failed me I don't want it to fail you so that's the uh, that's the main thing, I guess. And I'm not going to be doing product reviews. That's not who I am. I, I don't I don't do that. Uh, 
the people that do, I respect them. It's cool, you know, like that helps me out. But that's not what I'm going to be doing. I just wanted to get out here, show you the new tarp, show you uh, this area um, that I'm in here in Texas, and uh, and just put a video up for you. So uh, comment, let me know. Um, this is probably going to be kind of long. I don't have a way to edit this. So I hope you can bear with my ramblings. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, I can almost stand underneath this. So uh, I'm going to hang out here a little bit more, do some whittling, uh, and uh, make some toggles and stuff. And yeah, just enjoy being outside. I've got uh, about another two hours or so before it's going to start getting dark, and i got to hike it back to the truck. So have a good one, guys, and uh, never stop learning. Thank you.